Hey. So, I was trying to come up with a few different ways to play the intro to do some beyonds. And uh, especially, well, one inspiration was the video that Robin Nolan just posted a couple of days ago, and a few different people uh, brought it up. And just a few weeks ago, I came up with my with my own way to do the intro, which then I realized other people are using it too, so it's not, I guess, all that original as I thought in the beginning. But then, here are a few different ways that you can play the intro to do some beyonds. And uh, here's like the most basic vanilla way that I know of. And then to start spicing things up a little. And this first way is great, I think. I, I use it a lot. I really like the way it's simple and it just flows along. But what a lot of people do is start on the D7 chord. That should have been this. This chord, I have to give a shout, shout out to Adrian Holbody. He taught me this one back in the day. And the last way is what I came up with partially a few weeks ago. And it goes like this. Is what I like. That's my favorite part, this. And this. And one variation that Robin Nolan did, which I thought was really cool, is that I guess it's kind of tritone substitution at the end of the sequence as you go so this chord I thought was nice so there you have it a couple different ways to play the intro to do some beyonds <laughs>